Thank you for joining me today for this momentous occasion where we here at Goulet Pens are continuing on this new frontier that we're calling the Goulet Fountain Pen Hall of Fame, recognizing significant and meaningful fountain pens that have helped to shape our fountain pen lives and the fountain pen community as a whole. Before I reveal which pen, let me mention that I previously explained in some detail the process for how we're gonna be selecting our Hall of Fame contenders. And you can watch that here, here somewhere, if you'd like to know more. Now, I won't wax poetic too much about today's inductee as this pen specifically embodies the Bauhaus spirit of function over form. That's right, today I'm inducting the Lamy 2000. <laughs> Shocker! While Lamy is known for many of its pen models, the 2000 is arguably the most iconic and meaningful pen in that company's history. Developed in 1966, with very few changes made since its inception, the Lamy 2000 is an icon in the fountain pen world. Both understated and timeless in its design, the 2000 remains one of the most popular fountain pens today. There have been remarkably few variations in its 50 plus year history, and the expression, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, comes to mind. I have to firmly check my own bias with this pen as I might be a little bit known to be kind of a fanboy of the 2000, but even still, I think any objective observer could look at the reputation of this pen and its standing in the pen community and agree that this pen deserves to be recognized. So let's talk about our five Goulet Fountain Pen Hall of Fame categories and which of them the Lamy 2000 meets and why. Significance. Since first discovering fountain pens myself back in 2009, I was made very quickly aware of the Lamy 2000 and its outstanding reputation in the pen community. Since becoming an authorized Lamy retailer in 2011, we here have gotten to know the pens incredibly well, and we've talked to thousands of customers who use and love these pens. This is commonly recommended as a go-to next level pen on the more affordable end of gold nib fountain pens. Innovation. In the 1960s, when this pen was developed, the fiberglass and polycarbonate resin material was pretty newly commercially developed, and it was innovative to the pen world for sure. It's proven over the decades to hold up incredibly well. This is also Lamy's only piston filling pen, and the integrated ink window and semi-hooded nib are unique features to this pen. The nib and feed on the 2000 are also unlike anything you see with other pens from Lamy or other brands. Aesthetics. The Lamy 2000 has a truly distinctive design and can likely be pointed out by pretty much anyone in the fountain pen community, whether or not they own this pen. There is only one regularly produced version of the 2000 known simply as black. The stainless steel and other versions offered have been special editions or limited editions. The 2000 has really stayed in its wheelhouse. Being founded in Heidelberg, Germany during the early to mid 1900s, the Bauhaus influence on Lamy and the 2000 in particular is intentional and undeniable. The simple lines, the practicality of its form, and the vintage yet timeless and somehow futuristic design of this pen are notable, even if it is understated compared to most modern pens. The pen was designed for function over form, but I think it still gets high marks for its form after decades of fandom. Utility. The function of the 2000 is perhaps where it shines the most. The durability of the polycarbonate and stainless steel parts are outstanding. The piston operates smoothly and it has generous ink capacity with an ink window to help you keep track of when it's time to fill. The snap cap is incredibly functional, and I would even say that it's a pleasure to use. The cap posts effortlessly and securely. The hooded nib though is perhaps my favorite aspect of this pen, as it keeps the nib wet far longer than most other conventional fountain pens. So it's a great pen for writing intermittent notes without recapping the pen, such as when you're in maybe a business meeting or if you're taking notes during a lecture. I had the great fortune of getting to see some of how this pen is actually manufactured when I toured the Lamy factory back in 2018. And they have some specialized equipment and techniques for making this pen that are innovative and impressive in their own right. Writing experience. Now this category is the one that I think could stir up the most controversy, as I think there are many people that love the way this pen writes, but there are some that strongly dislike it. When we first started carrying the 2000 back in 2011, the general sentiment was that the nibs had a sweet spot that took some getting used to. 
Uh, this was considered unacceptable to some, maybe even defective. And that sentiment was getting passed around online, that these nibs were defective or hit or miss. Now, it's true that they're ground in a somewhat unique way, which gives them a feel of having this sweet spot. And we made a video specifically about the Lamy nibs that you can check out. The nibs take very little time to get used to, honestly. And for the vast majority of pen users, this is kind of a non-issue. But even if you don't personally like the way that this nib writes, I could make the case for other aspects of the writing experience still being notable for the 2000. The 14 karat nib is fairly stiff, but it's reliable and it's consistent. The flow is good, the nibs are smooth, and the balance of the pen is fantastic, both posted and unposted. The torpedo shape of the body with absolutely no step on the body makes it comfortable for just about everyone to hold. And it's easy to consider it as one of the best daily writer pens available today, especially because of that hooded nib. Now, it's no secret that this is one of my personal go-to pens that I daily carry and I have for years. Given just how popular and how highly regarded this pen has been for decades though, I think my own personal sentiments largely just reflect how most Lamy 2000 owners feel about their pens. You can learn more about the Lamy 2000s that we currently have available with more detailed information, pictures, and technical specs on goulaypens.com and through the multitude of videos that we have on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining me here for the second induction to the Goulet Fountain Pens Hall of Fame. I'd love to know what pen models that you think deserve to be considered for induction next. Let us know what you think in this video in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and right on.